Now we've seen the factory customizers put Lightning McQueen in some weird colors. Of course, earlier this year, they gave us a pink Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, and I love it, it's super cool, but it doesn't look like McQueen. It literally looks like a different character in McQueen's paint shop because we're just not used to seeing McQueen in such a weird color for him. But yellow, I can totally see it. Think about it this way. NFL teams will sometimes wear alternative or retro jerseys once a season. I could totally see McQueen donning a yellow paint job maybe once a year, once per couple years and one race or two. I think it'd be cool instead of the typical red paint job that he usually wears. Like I think it would kind of garner some publicity. Everyone would be like, oh, what's that? Why is McQueen in yellow? I could totally see it. It totally fits into my head cannon. And that is what we'll be focusing on today for day nine of the 12 days of Christmas, the 10th season. Can't believe it. Man, I still can't believe it. I know we're nine days in. Now, before we get into everything, I do want to shout out the Suggester Spanny cars. Very fitting for him. His colors for his channel are yellow, and this is a yellow McQueen. He's also a member of Collector's Link, the collaborative YouTube group where we do a bunch of fun stuff and try and help each other out. A bunch of cars YouTubers, a bunch of really good people. So check that out in my Instagram. It's always, you know, it's around. Just search up Collector's Link. It's all over the place. But yeah, he is one of the best members in terms of just kind of spreading our content down to a whole bunch of new people, Spanish speaking people. So I love that about him. Thank you for the suggestion. I do want to follow up also on yesterday's video of Miles Axtra with Open Hood. Now, if you guys watched the whole video, I know some of you guys don't, but you would know that about three quarters of the way through, as I was trying to demonstrate his opening and closing of the hood, I snapped it right off. Now, it didn't break, but it came out of its little socket, and I wasn't able to get it back in on camera. In fact, it took me a long time, and then I finally realized just trying to kind of finesse it and click it back in was not going to work. You literally have to force push it in like Kylo Ren type of stuff push it in there really hard and it stinks because it's metal on metal there was a chip or two incurred in that whole process what am I gonna do I did need it back in there so I could take the thumbnail and make it look all right but I did want to let you guys know about that some people you know maybe just one person got super mad at me for quote unquote breaking the car I don't know if he was joking or not but can't believe I get blamed for Mattel's crappy product. Hey, you know what? It's the internet. You never know what's going on out there. But today, hopefully, we don't find a way to break this McQueen. It would be pretty hard to do so because there are no moving features, or I guess the tires are. But yeah, that would take a whole new level of ingenuity. But we're going to try to avoid that. Let's get rolling. This is the newest McQueen Factory Custom that is just a different color. A year ago, in the 12 Days of Christmas, I did this green version of Cars 1 McQueen, and then they quickly followed it up with the pink one I showed you. Now they're back onto the Cars 3 Griff. Of course, they did do a bunch of Cars 3 McQueens when the movie first came out. They did the chrome one, they had a gold one as well, and just a couple days ago, we reviewed the metallic red one. So yeah, a lot of factory custom action this season of the 12 Days of Christmas, but I have to say this yellow one is one of my favorites. I love it. I really do. I think it's way better than the green version, another weird color for McQueen to be in. I think the pink is just so out there and different that I probably would put it as my favorite, but like I said, this just fits the headcanon. It makes total sense for McQueen to wear a yellow paint job. Now, maybe not this bright, Maybe it's more of an orangish, like burnt orange, kind of like the color of the Rusty's logo. Maybe that would make a little bit more sense, but still though, it is really cool to kind of theorize about some alternative paint jobs McQueen might have worn off screen in between the movies. It makes sense, right? I mean, in the movies themselves, we see him wear a bunch of different paint jobs. So I think it really would be kind of cool. I love the expression on this McQueen in particular. It is the same one, actually, they did on the Metallic Cars 3 McQueen that we reviewed, as you can see there. But it just looks better on this one for whatever reason. Now, we're getting a little tight up here. The trees and everything, it's really tight. But yeah, here is your regular Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. And I'm just not huge on this expression. It looks a little too fake for me. Fake smile, I don't know, guys. I'm not a big fan of it. 
So I definitely prefer this expression on the factory customs that they've been using. The rusty logo is a little smaller, slightly different shading and all that, but still relatively the same. They were able to get the bolts on him and the 95 under the headlight there, which they did not get on the metallic version. Although you can see that the bolts are kind of like a silvery metallic, whereas before they're gray with a black outline. So that's kind of interesting. The 95 also has a red outline and so does almost all of his decals actually. Not really sure why they do that. Maybe it's to kind of border it and contrast it out from the yellow, but that's not something he would have. Or I mean, guess we wouldn't know because the background is red, but as you can see, he does have that red outline around all of his decals, which are very clear. Piston cup, octane gain, RPM, revolting, clutch A, which as we took a look at for the metallic version, there are different colors. Clutch A is green on the real deal, blue on the factory custom, revolting is orange, and a darker red here on this. Now, unfortunately, they did not color the wheels yellow, which I thought would be really cool and kind of like a no-brainer if, you know, I was predicting it ahead of time because they did change the colors on the green McQueen. They changed the colors on the pink McQueen. They changed the colors on the chrome McQueen. Even the metallic McQueen we reviewed, those are metallic rims. So I am not really sure why they didn't change these to yellow. Maybe they thought it just looked too weird, too much bright yellow. But I mean, it still looks good in red. I just would have thought that would be kind of cool. You got Lightning McQueen with a big red splotch behind it. Now the 95 logo does not have anything of the sort, but yeah, it is kind of weird. It actually looks better, I'd say, because the yellow McQueen there on the roof edges kind of blends in. It's you know right there on the edge, not super clear, but here with the red background on the yellow paint job, I kind of think it stands out a little bit better. I'm really digging this McQueen here, guys. You got the Rusty's logo there on the back. It's just so weird seeing this color on McQueen when a lot of his decals are in yellow. So now it's kind of like inverted, but not fully. They just put the red outline around it. Like it would be actually really sweet if all these decals were in red. Like just imagine the Rusty's logo, the Medicaid bumper ointment text in red instead of just having the red outline to make it stand out. But yeah, man, it's just such a pure shade. It's not highlighter yellow, which would be kind of ugly. It's just yellow. It's pure lemon yellow, pure banana yellow. No gas cap though, which was something we saw on the metallic version. You do have the yellow window bars, which is a really cool feature and they did change them up for the metallic one. They're darker than usual and they were pink on the pink version, green on the green version, etc. So again, still kind of begs the question why they didn't change the wheels. They must have made an executive decision that didn't look good. On the base, made in China children's, we don't say that word around here. This is a collectible, but not. Nah. I mean, that is just what a factory custom would say. Very simple compared to the actual Mattel base, which has a date stamp the Mattel address on there, the product code, copyright, all that stuff. Factory Customs don't need that because they're fakes. They're counterfeits, right? At the end of the day, Factory Custom is just a nice word for fakes or counterfeits. But you guys know how much I love them because Mattel is never going to do something like this. They have no reason to. They have a whole bunch of other things they could release. They don't need to start doing McQueen in different colors. But I still think it's really cool, and obviously I would definitely buy it. Look at the mess we made here, guys. Cacti are falling all over the place. Come on, man. It's almost Christmas. What the hell are you doing? The candy cane fall off the tree, man. Come on. You know what? You can have the candy cane. How about that? Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the 12 Days of Christmas. We only have three more episodes, three more days after this for this season. 10, 11, 12, double digit territory. And yeah, Christmas Eve Eve's tomorrow, Christmas Eve, then Christmas Day, and then post Christmas, which is, by the way, Giga Hall Part 23 comes out the day after Christmas. So just because the 12 days of Christmas is over doesn't mean the video spree is. I intend on doing daily videos actually next week to kind of close out the year. Very excited. So just because Christmas is over doesn't mean the fun is. 
Thanks as always. Bye now.